Hello everybody and welcome to Terra Firma Craft. This is going to be like a retro series. I don't know exactly the direction we're going to be going in this, but Terra Firma Craft is basically known as Minecraft Survival as it should be. And this mod can at times be pretty difficult to play and survive it. So we're gonna go we're gonna do basically what we can do. I might do some building and do some other things. Right now I am just basically looking for a place that we'll be able to survive in. And this is awesome right here. I'm going to use a little bit of what's left of my axe that I created to try to get a couple of these fruit trees, fruit tree saplings. And I've got a couple that I found. I have some stuff in my inventory that uh, I got because I was looking around, I was checking out the seed and getting some stuff gathered while we were, while I was, holy crap, there's a ravine, while I was basically just checking out the spawn here and we're basically going to find an area like this. This is actually kind of perfect. There's another fruit tree right there. Let's see what this is. This is an orange tree. That is awesome. And there's another fruit tree over there. Okay, this is a good place. I think we're gonna settle right in here. Already got some fruit trees. Got a little bit of natural defense here from that. Fresh water. Okay. I'm gonna get in, get my water bar filled. Down at the bottom, you see three bars. A red, well, you see four. You see a red bar that has numbers 964. You see an upper green bar that is your food. We'll eat some cherries here. We fill up our food. And the blue bar is water, hydration, and of that sort of thing. And we're going to collect some stones, some rocks. There's gold right there. There's gold in Memnar Hills. And in Terra Firma Craft, you can walk through uh, leaves. Looks like there's a mountain of some kind trying to come in right there. That's alright. Let's just find a spot here to where we can make like a base camp and that is Cassiterite, that's 10 that's awesome there's a lot of it on the ground right here alright and it looks like horses over here Galena, that's lead yeah we've got some horses got some ravines don't push me in, horse. Whoa, there's metal down there. Looks like Cassiterite. Ah, cool. Yeah, a couple horses here. And this is an olive tree. That's pretty cool. And that goes down quite a ways. 
It's actually kind of spooky. A nice lake right here. I'm wondering if we can't do something over on that as like a base camp. We have oak logs and pine here. And I believe we've seen a couple of other types. There's zombies where? Where are the zombies? Are they showing? They must be showing underground. Okay. And item crafting in terra firma craft, if you haven't seen it before, is way different than you find in vanilla. So I'm just checking out what we've got here. We've got some andesite rock. Got some octopus out there, some squids, I mean. Yeah, there's got to be like an underground area here. Because apparently the zombies are right there. Like right where I'm looking. But we don't see them, so. We're just looking. Alright, I am going to head back towards that area where the orange and, what was it, olive tree? There's tropical milkweeds. I haven't found any chickens yet. So chickens are going to be a thing that we're going to need to find soon. We're going to need to make a bridge across that. But I think somewhere right in here should be where we make our first base camp. I'm kind of liking this little hollow area right here. So, let's get a couple tools made. First thing we're going to do is make an axe. And we need this. You right click to bring this up. There's an axe head. And of course it's raining. And an axe head. Alright, now... Put these in, and in terra, fir terra firma craft, uh, you're not just going to be able to punch tree. It, it doesn't work. It takes a while to cut down trees because it takes the whole tree down. And you get logs. But we have oak in this area, which is nice. This is one of the first times I've gotten a spawn area that has oak. We're going to need to make a shelter very soon. I'm going to cut down a couple trees and we're going to start making a very basic shelter to start with because we've already got some stuff spawning in the area.
that skeleton zombie spider or we got a zombie oh we've got all kinds of stuff coming now uh, hopefully yeah Like I said, we're going to make a very basic shelter. I'm going to use a couple of the oak. And we have all kinds of stuff now. Spawned all around us. It's super dark. And if you shift and right click, you can make stacks. And I hope... Well, apparently, this is going to be our shelter. And while we're waiting, we can make some other tools. Make a couple knife, knife blades. Make a few knife blades, and I th think make a couple hammers. Whoops. Make a couple hammer heads. That should be enough to get us through the night. Make us a couple knives. Knives are going to be good for a lot of different stuff. Give me my sticks back. We're going to keep that. I don't think you can combine tools. Nope. So we're going to have weapons out here. We're going to keep this out so we can lock up our door if things get too close. And we'll try to get some grass cut in our area. We're going to pay attention to the mini map. The black skull you see on the mini map in that direction. Yeah, they're skeletons. They look like wither skeletons. They don't wither you, but they are lethal. They're bad. Very bad to run into this early. Even zombies are not good at all. Thought I saw something moving. We were gonna... If we do see something come up on us, we're gonna have to go and get out of it. Get, out, get away from it. We're gonna have to run and hide for the rest of the night. That's pretty much all there is to it. getting close to a zombie so hopefully we can gather some materials here and morning comes we're gonna have to go and find clay whoop creeper bad news very bad news Mobs are not something you want. Uh oh. You, they're not something you want to run into on your first night. Ouch. See his health? 389. 
Got more zombies coming. Ow, 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 get out, get out, get out. Go, oh no, we're dead. We're dead. Come on. And block it off. Whew. Yeah, that is why you need a solid structure for your first night. Because if not, <clears throat> you're dead. And we will build, and you see how fast the weapons get used up. Took out three. We probably should have been using the axe more to start. Uh, there is no use for rotten flesh. Whoa, spider! Very bad news. That spider is very bad news. He will... He will kill us. Plain and simple. More zombies. Have all kinds of zombies incoming. And there goes our cherries from that group. Yeah, it's good. We have some green beans. We'll just hide in our shack. And... Oh boy, we have all kinds of zombies incoming. At least I don't believe... No, there's no use for rotten flesh. I believe you can feed dogs with them, with the pieces of rotten flesh, but I, I think that's just about the only thing you can do. So we're just going to wait here, but we can make some more tools while we wait. And if it doesn't quit raining, they won't burn. And there's no stone pick. So, we'll get another hammer. Give another axe. Ah, that, oh, that's a skeleton. Oh, that's bad news. I thought I heard an arrow. I think hammers are better for fighting skeletons. With straw, you can make thatch. That's one good thing. And thatch does have some uses. You can use it as, well, apparently. It's saying you can use it as furnace fuel, but there's you don't, you can't make a furnace.
Oh, we do have Bibliocraft, though. So we'll be able to make some fancy stuff. We've got all kinds of gems. These will be pretty cool. And we're going to need to find some clay. Oh. to find some clay and some surface copper pieces to get started. Sorry about that. I had to mute the mic for a second. I had to sneeze. The skeleton is going to be rough. Whoa. Yeah. The skeleton is going to be rough. We'll just wait for him to climb up on that. How oh, we got him. We still have a spider issue, we have a zombie issue, but we're just going to need to run. Ah! No, no, no! Uh, one more hit and I'm done. Go for water, go for water, go for water. Whew. That had me on the seat of my, on the edge of my seat. Ooh. That was very bad news. Also need to make a shovel. Rain in this mud pack is not good news. So, okay, here. Here's some clay. And a bit of a quieter area. You can tell where clay is by goldenrods. So, let's make... Let's make a shovel. Nothing is around us anymore. Okay, good. Gonna need a good bit of clay. One way that you can make kind of a cheaty shelter for your first night is to dig under clay like this because yeah dirt has gravity but you can dig under clay to make a hidey hole for your first couple nights. Or using what I did, make a uh, quick, cheap wooden shelter. Okay. We're done with our shovel. So we'll just throw it away. Here's a good pit to throw used up items. So we'll throw that. We'll throw that. Throw that one piece. We have some jute. 
and now we'll go back over towards our little survival shelter and see if things have despawned. We'll need to fill our water again first here. You can look down in fresh water. Fresh water you can tell have cattails and pond weeds. If you see seaweed, that's not fresh water. It's salt water, ocean water. You can't drink it. You have to drink fresh water. Okay, we'll have some green beans. To fill up our belly a little bit so we can start getting some of our hit points and life back and our shelter was just over here not there right there there we go there's an arrow cool I'll grab that now, also, we need to use some of our clay. Get back here. Um, same way. Right click and it brings this up. And you can use clay to make something that we're going to need very soon. We're going to dig a couple holes because they will become important momentarily. Okay, now. Shift, right click. We want to make a few of these. And... trying to make ah okay there we go these are containers because you can't just use wood to break it down you have to have a saw to get lumber you use a lumber to get planks that's how this mod goes. Get a couple pieces of dirt here. And we'll hang on to it because we'll need it later. Alright, so now that we have that, okay, we need one more. Large vessel. That you can only have one in a pit kiln. We're going to need our knife. We're going to need more thatch. It's a good idea to collect as much thatch as you can early game. Alright. And you're going to need to fill the bottom of these. And sun's already going down again. Holy crap. Doesn't take long. Shh, not. What the hell? Ah. Uh, wrong tool. That wasn't wasting very much time. tree down. We'll get these pit kiln kilns fired up and then we'll call it a success for episode one because we lived through the first night 
We need fire starter. Okay. Well, I think we lost one. Come on, light. All right, we're going to do something different. There we go. Um, yeah. All right. Now we're going to do something here, which is why I got the pumpkins. Do something to keep our area lit up at least a little bit here. We'll make some more torches to keep the area lit. Get one more tree within the area here. to make we'll get some logs in there all right now need to make some torches because one way you can do this is throw a torch on it you lose the torch but it's much easier than using that stupid thing. And I'm going to keep one torch. And I'm going to get a couple more pumpkins. To make a couple more jack-o'-lanterns. And this will at least get some light in our campsite. But with Terra Firma Craft, the longer you stay in an area, the safer it becomes. So eventually hostile mobs won't spawn here as often as they will out in the wild. So but yeah, this is our pit, pit kiln. Got three hours remaining for that, seven hours remaining for that because we took forever and we can also cook some of our food we're going to cook our green beans and this is our inventory this is our skills and agriculture is already starting to level up because I've been collecting seeds and stuff this is the time of the year the calendar early summer the day the hour and this is our 
nutrition guide. You need a balanced diet. Dairy is the hardest thing to get because obviously you need cows. So we will check. That's got light cooked. Medium. Medium is good enough. Temperature bar at the top. It does like that jerking motion because it's very hot, obviously. You just took it out of the fire. So we had a warm meal, a hot meal. Got some pottery going. Got some food, the seeds, and stuff of that nature. And there's that spider. And there's a zombie coming. And that's my cue to hide for the night. So, hopefully, you're going to enjoy this series as much as I am. And I will see you in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye-bye.